Hi, I'm going to do a little screencast to demonstrate using knowledge.bio to explore CREB1 and its relation to memory. So we'll start with CREB1 here. It's our starting point. Click go. Searching. We found a few com concepts. Let's pick this one. Generally speaking, use that one instead of the other ones that look like that. We load up our table. You'll notice there's 3,000 entries, which is a lot. Let's see if there are any about memory. This is just a text filter on the whole table. Down to 14. So good. CREB1 affects memory. I'm just going to drag it over there. I'll zoom in a little so you can see. And it affects memory performance and consolidation. Now look, we can see lots of references about that. And let's check and see if there are any diseases related to it implicitly. Uh, this one is apparently, so let's go and add that in there. <clears throat> Clicking on it, you can see something about it. Done. Let's click on it and see show relations. Uh, turns out there are no explicit relations, but we do have some other implicit relations from that disease to these genes. So let's go and add those to the map quickly. And let's go back and click on that and explore from there a little bit, show relations. And we see map kinase 3 also augments memory. That's interesting. Boom. And that's basically how it works. Drag this stuff around as you like. I like the circle layout. Uh, save your map as a text file down to my downloads. And we're done. Um, so I'm going to clear this out, say new map, continue reload, we're empty, let's load that map I just dropped down there from downloads, <clears throat> um, crib1.gbk, choose, and there we are again. And that's all I wanted to show you. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.